Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going over WWE Monday Night Raw August 5th 2024. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Monday Night Raw was in a Baltimore, Maryland CFG Bank Arena and it started off with the newly crowned WWE Heavyweight Champion getting introduced by the returning Ludwig Kaiser Gunther, whatever the ring general, blah, 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 blah. So Gunther came into the ring and did his average spiel where he talks about how he was the longest intercontinental champion and now he is now the world champion and he is going to be one of the longest champions as well. He said he can beat anybody. He is the top of the charts. He is the best and no one can defeat him. I hear voices in my head. It's Randy Orton who's supposed to be on SmackDown. Now he is on Raw. Randy Orton came to the ring and said, Gunther, don't you remember at King of the Ring that little pin that my shoulders weren't down? Well, everybody saw it. The ref may have not seen it, but Triple H saw it and said that there should be a Gunther vs. Orton 2. And it should happen sooner than later. They just had a little back and forth, and the RKO got thrown up, you know, out of nowhere. But Randorin said, I, I, I'm not going to get you with an RKO out of nowhere, because I want you to see it coming. Gunther said, listen, bruh, you want a match against me? You'll have your match. Let's put it in three weeks at whatever pay-per-view is coming up. I think it's like Bad Blood or some kind of shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember the pay-per-view. All right, so then it had to keep going. Oh, Logwick Kaiser versus my boy Sheamus. Uh, Load to Kaiser, attacked Sheamus before the bell rang. Uh, they had a nice match in and out of the ring. Sheamus, of course, got the 10 beats. Uh, Pete Dunne came out to try to hit him again with the shillelagh and shit. Sheamus did a little duck, jumped off the top rope, knocked Logan Kaiser down, did a little kick to Pete Dunne, got Kaiser back in the ring. Bro kick! Sheamus got the victory. One, a two, a one, two, three. Hey, that match is getting it up. That's right, it is getting it up. And then we just got to go quick to another backstage segment, which was with Big Bronson Reed, who was real pissed off at Adam Pierce that he didn't have a rematch against Sheamus. Adam Pierce is like, yo, dog, like, chill the half out. And Bronson Reed's like, all right, well, if you're going to be a douche about this, I guess I'm going to have to make a name for myself. Damian Priest also made his way out to the ring and said, Finn Balor, what you did yesterday is irreparable you need to come out right now so i'll beat your ass finn balor of course was too scared went on the screen talked about how once damian priest became the champion judgment day was just in the past and it was all about him and then towards the end you saw dominic carlito jd and Liv morgan as the new judgment day finn balor will get his match later against jd mcdonough so uh da, da, da. let's keep going because we can't stop rolling folks uh, then there was uh, Laura Valkyrie, and she was in a match. I think she was against Shania Blazer. This match wasn't too eh. Laura Valkyrie was about to get the pin, and before he was able to get, she was able to get the pin, I should say. Uh, it was a DQ because the other two girls, Sonya Deville and the other one, came into the ring and beat her up. This match, of course, is going to have to get a down. That's right, it is getting a down. You know what? I'm just going to go off whatever I remember. Um, more importantly, CM Punk came in the ring. Everyone was like, CM Punk, CM Punk. He basically said, listen, I came back. I did my whole rally, rally, rally to get up to this point. I fought yesterday or two days ago at SummerSlam, and I got beat by Drew McIntyre, but I wouldn't have been beaten if it was a fair match. And this, that, and the other thing. Out came Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins came out and said, now that that is done and over with you and Drew McIntyre, I can put you in the dirt. They had a stare down. Drew McIntyre came out and basically said, listen, CM Punk, you're old news. I'm the new news. I'm the best in the world. And I'm wearing the bracelet that you still want. CM Punk ran out of the ring, ran after Drew McIntyre. This gave Bronson Reed, who came into the ring and beat the shit out of Seth Rollins, did like eight tsunami splashes. Seth Rollins dead. He has some kind of breathing issues. Who the hell knows what's going to happen then? Uh, then what happened? Uh, there was the Damian Priest versus J.D. McDonough. That match was all right. Damian Priest, of course, was beating the shit out of J.D. McDonough. Uh, J.D. McDonough stepped out away, I should say, when Damian Priest ran him into the turnbuckle. He took the advantage, did some kicks, this shot and the other thing. Carlito was at ringside too, but Carlito really didn't do much. Damian Priest basically was about to get the victory. And then, you know, of course, Finn Balor showed up and started beating the shit out of Damian Priest. 
Then out came Dominic and Liv, and all four of them were in the ring beating the shit out of Damian Priest. And then Damian Priest got the advantage, threw everybody out, was about to beat Finn Balor up. Dominic came from behind. Liv started kicking him. Out came Rhea Ripley, chased everyone away, grabbed Liv before she could get away, beat the shit out of Liv Morgan onto the ring post. And then as she was going to powerbomb her or Razor's Edge, whatever they wanted to call it, onto the announcer's desk, Dominic saved them. Rhea Ripley and uh, Damian Priest are together versus the rest of Judgment Day as their revenge. There was a match with... Oh, that's part of... That's getting an... Oh! Uh, then there was a match between the final Testaments, whatever, AOP versus Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Ugh, I don't know what to tell you, folks. It was, a, it was a DQ. Actually, Xavier Woods actually got the win with a roll-up, right? I think, something like that. Uh, the match is still going to get it down. And some Otis jo Odyssey Jones from NXT came and cleared the ring and helped Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. And Xavier Lo Woods looked pissed as shit. Like, why would Kofi Kingston have backup when we're getting our ass beat by three other people. So, I don't know. Maybe Xavier Woods is going to leave, and this is what's going to cause the friction between them. I think that's incredibly stupid if that's how what happens, but I don't know. Uh, there was an Ivy Niles segment where she was talking to, uh, you know, Maxine Dupree, and that they didn't, or Maxine didn't like that Chad Gable took her away. I don't really give a shit about that. Either she do. Uh, then, let's see, let's see what else I remember. Oh, yeah. Dakota Kai had a match against Sonya Deville, but before the match, they beat the shit out of her. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say that Damage Control saved Valkyrie from Sonya Deville and co. earlier. Um, it was EO Sky versus her, uh, Sh uh, whatever, Sonya Blazer. Not Sonya Blazer. Goddamn, Sonya Deville. This is what happens when I try to spit this out in eight minutes. Uh, EO Sky won. It is getting an up. All right, let's see what else is there. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Trying to see if there's anything important. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just going through, through, through. No, 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 no. You know what? Let's just skip to the last match which was basically the Wyatts versus Chad Gable and the new non, well, the Creed brothers, but they're called like the American something or some shit like that. Oh yeah, there was another match before I get into this real quick for A-Town uh, Down and the Awesome Truth. Awesome Truth lost. That match was really shitty too. That's getting it down, 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 down. Now back to the main event, which was the, uh, whatever, Wyatts versus the Creed brothers and Chad Gable. I really thought that Wyatts were not going to sell any of the moves, and actually they did get a little beat down. Um, Eric Rowan was maybe the highlight of the match. He beat the shit out of everyone, beat the crap out of Chad Gable. Uh, Loomis did really good. Ch Ch uh, Gacy did good. Their entrance was really slow. Everybody was chanting, this is awesome, before the match even started. Shut the hell up, you dumb ass of Mark fans. It wasn't awesome at all. And the Wyatts aren't that impressive either. They're just three losers that you guys didn't like, and now they're at the Wyatt family, and then all of a sudden you guys like them. Makes no sense to me. How can you like this stuff? It just blows my mind. So for that, I'm giving it a down because I hated the crowd. It made the match awful. I don't care if you want to call me a hater. I guess I'm a hater. Overall, we got to give this bad boy an up or a down for this Monday Night Raw because I'm running out of town <laughs> and money here. Well, not really money. It is getting a big down. Even though it had CM Punk and it had some little bits and pieces of excitement, I thought it was garbage following the night after SummerSlams, you know, bro after SummerSlam. Whatever. Eh. Hate me if you can. Survive if I let you. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we talk about more things, more stuff. And hey, maybe my goddamn computer won't shut off while I'm filming. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.